Okay, in my last video, uh, we discussed a transformation uh, Fz equal to Z plus B, where B is a fixed complex number, B1 plus IB2. So we have seen that this is, a, is actually a translation transformation. Okay, so it, it will be translated uh, B1 units uh, on the real axis and B2 units on the imaginary axis. Okay, so now uh, in this video, I would like to discuss about the transformation Fz equal to say Az, where uh, A is a, um, a, a non-zero non zero complex number complex number so this is a non zero complex number so so we have uh, we have so because a uh, as a is not equal to 0 we have as a is not equal to 0 uh, so a can be written as what in polar form so modulus of a e to the power c i alpha so what is alpha alpha is the argument of uh, argument of a okay so uh, let us consider this argument of a as the principal argument okay alpha is this one and uh, so if your z is remember that z is also not zero because if z is zero then fz equal to zero which is the constant transformation zero transformation fz equal to zero so therefore that is not very interesting so we just consider z equal to e to the power i theta uh, so then uh, your fz then fz equal to az so this is your w transformation so this becomes what this is modulus of a e to the power i alpha then r e to the power i theta so and that is nothing but modulus of a r and e i theta plus alpha okay so you see that this is the image of r e i theta in the z plane this is in z plane and this is in w plane. okay so what is the transformation so the transformation you see that the modulus modulus new modulus has become what uh, new modulus has become modulus of a r okay and new argument argument new argument of w this becomes theta plus alpha so this was the argument of a okay this is argument of let's take principal argument of a okay for example so you see that this transformation is nothing but a expansion expansion in the modulus of the z okay so this new expansion is what expansion by modulus of a times of the original modulus and it is also what it is a rotation the new w has the argument theta plus alpha so it is a rotation from original theta okay so therefore if it is in z plane this is 0 uh, x y so that is in uh, polar coordinates so this uh, this is uh, uv this is w plane okay so everything will be what uh, expanded by modulus of a times okay in the w plane and it will be also rotated huh? okay for example suppose um, I, I, I consider a particular uh, transformation say w equal to uh, 1 plus i z okay so this is nothing but what 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 is a your a equal to 1 plus i so therefore modulus of a is root 2 okay Modul because modulus of 1 plus i and what is the argument principal argument of 1 plus i say so this is nothing but i know that this is pi by 4 okay so therefore this is becomes this transformation w equal to i plus 1 plus i z this is nothing but a what expansion expansion by root 2 root 2 root 2 units okay root 2 units 
and rotation and rotation by uh, pi by 4 angles in the positive direction because it is plus pi by 4 1 plus okay so this uh, this is a uh, expansion and expansion at 1 plus i z is an expansion and a rotation okay this is an expansion and a rotation rotation what is the expansion expansion is by square root of 2 units and this is by pi by 4 angles okay so therefore uh, so you see that from this one your one one in the z plane under this transformation under this one plus i z becomes what root two okay so root two how, how will you find root two this is one this is i so this distance is root two so this is nothing but this is root two. okay so one becomes root two one becomes root two. so this is transformed to root two. so under this transformation so you can easily check that uh, so this is say this is your this is your square okay this i sorry so 0 1 1 plus i and i are the vertices then this square will become what this square will become uh, this one okay so this is root 2 plus i root 2 and this is root 2 okay so this this is expanded expanded by root 2 units and this is rotated because it is rotated so your uh, uh, this is the first uh, expansion then it will be rotated rotated by what pi by 4 angle so pi by 4 angle means this will be this this will come to this and something like this So it will be uh, the square will be expanded and then rotated. Okay, so this is the image of this square under this transformation. Okay, so it will be rotated. So therefore, so we have seen that in general, W equal to A Z uh, gives an expansion or maybe contraction if your uh, modulus is less than one, then it may be contraction. So one bigger uh, image may be contracted, smaller wood. Okay, so but in this case it is expansion and there is a rotation by uh, positive angle pi by 4. It may be negative also. For example, if it is 1 minus i, then your rotation will be what? Minus pi by 4. So it will be rotated clockwise, but it is anti clockwise positive. Okay, so we have seen that W equal to AZ is an expansion or contraction and a rotation by argument of A angle.